we're working with quite a lot of high high support individuals that have got varying levels of support needs and yeah we're having to to sort of make sure people's mental health and substance misuse support needs are addressed. He had so much clients with mental health issues and it's a struggle to get them into mainstream services with health, whether physical or mental. Any time I get to see them, it shows that they do have they do need mental health services, but their lifestyle is so chaotic that they cannot cope without support to access these services. Because obviously we want to get you housed and in accommodation before they ask you to leave here, right? What, what's your name? I'm there tomorrow afternoon from one o'clock. You can come and have lunch with us and um, we can take, talk about your options. I've learned with mental health that it's not a quick fix. You can't put a time scale on somebody getting better. We work with some people where it's, it's we, due to the availability of services, we can get them off the streets quite quickly. Head from the outreach team, you're right. And, and it could be on the night with, with actually t taking someone to an assessment centre and getting them off the street at that, that, at that first contact. So be, being able to present yourself in a certain way is very important. So what, what, what do you want to do today? We can get you off the streets now if I make a phone call and we'll see if we can get you booked into an assessment centre. There's one in Camden, one but in Lumber. too far for you. Why is it too far? But then over time also people may well become entrenched in rough sleeping and then we're having to, to, to work with them over a longer period of time. When I go home at the end of the day, I know I have helped somebody because I feel more privileged that I have a home with a front door key and choices of where I sleep or what I eat. And there are people in the UK in 2016 who have no choice.